Yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, my number four is Soul Calibur 2 HD Online oh, on the cool. Xbox in the Xbox 360. Uh, I've been playing this uh, a hell of a lot. Um, I didn't intend to play it as long as I have done, but I have smashed this today. Um, Soul Calibur 2 was always my favourite Soul Calibur game. Um, I, I like three. In fact, I like all of them. I liked every Soul Calibur game. I think they've all been mm. really uh, of a really, really high standard, but this is the they one have. I remember the most fondly, and it's the one that I always liked the most. The first thing to note is that it's so slick the way that everything you can do really fast you can move around menus really quickly and it doesn't look i mean it's not what did they call i can't remember what they called it the street fighter redux where they basically took all of the elements and redid everything to make it look like a current gen game almost um championship hd oh, yeah, yeah, redux or something this is not that this is they've given it a very very basic hd lick of paint which is not a terrible thing because soul Calibur 2 still looks pretty good really <laughs> um but sacrificing all those bells and whistles means that everything moves quickly you're just in and out of matchmaking in and out of the i mean everything moves so fast that uh it, it, it there's a slickness to it that i really really responded to the most important thing obviously is that there's online and the matchmaking, as far as I'm concerned, I've seen a couple of people online saying that there was problems, teething problems in the literally the first hours that the game was on sale and professional players are saying there's input delay here and input delay. I mean, I, I'm not a professional player. I play Soul Calibur quite a bit, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to be a stickler for the tiniest detail like that. Matchmaking for me was absolutely perfect. Um, I mean, fast, and I just got. I, I've been playing all day, and I've played probably 50 games online. Jesus. Every, every single. But because it's so fast, mm. I forgot how fast. The games are over in, in no time yeah, at all. Yeah, they are. Um, the, every single one of them, bar none, literally bar none, was fast and completely lag free, time after time after time. Um, it's the most. I mean, per, I mean, it's, it's simple. The problem. This is where the problems come in. Is it's incredibly simplistic. You can jump into a, a ranked match quick, like jump into a quick match, mm. and that's fine. If you're playing with a friend and you want to start setting up lobby, there's no lobby system at yeah. all. You have to set up a private match, and as soon as that one match is done, it boots you back to the main menu, and you have to do it all again. Oh, that's annoying. You can't even replay. You can't even do a rematch. Mm. Oh, that's so. so that, I mean, that's. I'm hoping that they're going to patch that because that seems like an incredibly weird oversight, um, almost as weird as the Battlefield No Lobby system. But you know, it's, oh, yeah. it's weird. I, I, it's just how, how. I mean, I'm playing with a mate. We have a game, and then it boots you back to mate. It's completely mad. But despite that, matchmaking is really, really great. Um, Everything else is pretty much as you'd expect. I mean, the arcade mode is, is, is a nice throwback, but it's it's a museum piece because times of uh, you forget how much times have changed with regards to fighting game single player. It's it's just old. There's preset spikes I still remember. So if you do an um, um, uh, arcade like run through, yeah, you get a few matches in. You get to IV, she'll always beat you. You get to Mitsurugi, he'll always beat you. It's just an old hat game, and it's like you're basically playing. Uh, you're basically paying for the game. Which I think is probably pound for pound the best Soul Calibur game online, and I I think that's uh, uh, that that's a great proposition. The m real problem is, and you brought this up earlier, how on the brink of a new generation do you ask people to pay? I mean, some people have said that these prices fluctuate and they're changing them, and some are incorrect. But at the moment, it's sixteen. Uh, someone told me it's meant to be twelve pounds, but then it went back to. I, I, I don't know. The pricing is a little bit sort of uh, hazy at present. But by all accounts, the current price for this game is sixteen pounds, and for, a, for for something that's so as good as it is online, you're paying for a, how old? It, how, how old is that game? It's pretty damn old. It's pretty yeah. damn old, I was at uni, so that's, uh, you know, over a decade. Yeah, so, the pro I mean, it's, it's still a classic. I mean, the, the, if, if this HD online version proves anything, it's that Soul Calibur 2 is a classic and it still endures in the same way that uh, Street Fighter does. There, there are certain corners are cut, so the leaderboards are only for ranked matches and player points, and then there's no time attack leaderboards or survival leaderboards. It just seems... Like a little bit of a half assed port that I would pay happily, you know, seven, eight quid for without yeah. even thinking twice, and I would recommend it to everybody. But at this point, with the new consoles coming out, it's great online, but I just. I'm so torn because I feel like I've already got £16 worth of, of entertainment out of it, but. 
It's a bit. That's that's a loss of money for most people. It really is. For a very old game. It is a very old game, and it's there's no frills. But in in a way, I don't want any more frills. It's weird. It's a difficult case. I, I re I'm going to recommend it to a couple of my friends because we we used to play that game to death back in the day, and it's so nice to play. Uh, to play it online to, mm. to, a standard, to a standard that I think is more than acceptable I, I've seen some conversations between people who are like uh, hardcore players who say that it's not, not quite up to snuff but I was playing people in Europe in Canada in America and no lag I was playing it was faultless uh, left and right yeah so it's a difficult one I think it's overpriced but brilliant 